Welcome to the Week in Review at the Nebraska Department of Education. I'm David Jesperson, Public Information Officer for NDE. Thank you so much for watching this brief update. The goal over the next few minutes is to fill you in on some of the news, notes, and events that happened this week involving NDE. And we'll start with a trip to Washington, D.C. Commissioner Matt Bloomstedt spent part of the week in the Capitol visiting with educators and politicians. He was in D.C. to talk about innovation and Nebraska's work with Native American education at a panel for the National Indian Education Association. The commissioner also met with Nebraska's representatives in Congress and had a chance to attend the Nebraska Breakfast. Back in Nebraska, education was in the spotlight at the legislature as well. This week, the Education Committee heard testimony on several bills that ranged in topics including mental health programs for students, to discipline reporting, assessment reporting, and dyslexia. Brian Halstead represented the Department of Education in support of a bill to provide annual assessment scores and classification of schools, which is a requirement of the new ESSA plan. And board member Lisa Fricke represented the state board, expressing support for a bill that would strengthen awareness and support of dyslexia in schools. This week, we also shared a behind-the-scenes look at what it's like inside a Milken Award-winning classroom. In January, John Pickenpaw from South Sioux City was surprised with the prestigious award, and we had a chance to talk to his students about what it's like in his classroom. We also talked to him about his style of teaching. You can find that good news series on the communications page of NDE's website. While you're online, head over to Nebraska Loves Public Schools website and take a look at their newest film showcasing the career academies at Kearney High School. The program is a great example of the academy system and how Nebraska schools are preparing students for college, career, and civic life. Staff members represented the Department of Education in the media this week as well. Following the tragedy in Parkland, Florida, KMTV in Omaha talked with School Safety Director Jolene Palmer about the state's plan to keep students safe in Nebraska. Highlights included the threat assessment plans being put together by every district, the simple steps schools can take like locking doors, and the important realization that a shooting can happen anywhere and schools need to be proactive and preventative. Meanwhile, Nutrition's Katie Parch traveled to Kearney to highlight the Summer Food Service Program on NTV. Right now, NDE is offering grants for host sites this summer to help provide good food to kids across the state even when school is out. More information about the grants can be found on NDE's Nutrition Services page. Thank you for tuning in to this Week in Review. We'll see you next week with the latest news from NDE.